Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul. We're going to do a little, as you saw by the title, we're going to do a little testing with the latest and greatest in weaponry that we've been able to pick up, this multi-tool called the Harbinger of Ochasho. And after that, it has the 18th. So I guess there were 17 renditions of this that failed. But that's okay. We've got the better one. Now, as you can see, I've got this thing loaded up for the most part. I don't have certain things in there, like I don't have the shield or the cloaking device or anything like that. The reason why we're trying this bad boy out is because of these four wonderful little slots it has sitting right here. These wonderful supercharged slots. And you'll notice that when I put my bolt caster in here with the arrangement that I've got, and mind you, I want to show you this real quick. This particular bolt caster, these particular um, upgrades or X-Class upgrades are the best ones I can get my hands on right now. Um... You see that it's plus 2 damage, plus 19 fire rate, minus 7 reload, and 9.6, that is a positive 9.6 clip size. Every single one of them are exactly the same. Through a little bit of uh, wonderful glitching on my own, I was able to get them all the exact same setting. And with that, I'm getting a potential damage of 32,316. Um, that is also with these wonderful... Um, impossible obliterators as well as this cursed annihilator that are all the same rating these are the sentinel upgrades for it so plus two damage plus 20 fire rate and a minus 15 reload time on all three of these so this gives it the extra potential see if i pull these away see how much it's dropping 26,000, 25,000. but once as soon as you get them up there man only for the bolt caster does it increase the damage now they say it also works on the other weapons. I haven't seen any sign of that. Doesn't necessarily mean it isn't true. Just simply, I haven't seen any sign of it. But anyway, the, the wonderful thing about this is that when you have your bolt caster, this is the fastest weapon I've ever seen in my life. Watch the ammunition at the top as it drops. I didn't make that happen, don't worry. Watch the reload on this, okay? Ready? Done literally instantaneous reload times on these things that's how fast it happens let's take a look at some of the others on this and then we'll give it a little bit of a test i'm going to drop these down i'm a little bit out of room to make room for it so let's go with the scatter blaster scatter blaster oh, that's pulse better pardon me scatter blaster is the most powerful weapon that there is only problem is you got to be, as it says, range is limited, but the shrapnel is highly effective at close range. It's definitely a close range weapon. It gets some serious damage going. Just with those two alone, 18,000 damage, 24, 30, 47,490. really doesn't make a difference where I put this boy. I really have to have him close to here to make any damage. So here or here in those two spots will give it the most damage. All right, but there's the problem with the actual weapon, okay? If we go to the scatter blaster, there is the biggest problem, the reload time. I wasn't even needing to reload the whole way. Now I'm literally just holding the button down, okay? Reload. Really long, really long amount of time. But it's shooting four shots at a time, watch. And that's it. That sounds like more like five or six shots at a time. I don't know if you've, you've counting, but I'm having trouble counting at all. It's getting him out the door. So, but the damage is just phenomenal at 47,490. It's probably the most powerful weapon I've seen on this particular, uh, in No Man's Sky, as far as a handheld uh, cannon is concerned, if you want to call it that. So I'm going to put that back over there. Let's go over to the Pulse Spitter, one of my personal favorites. 13,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000, 810. Now, I haven't really done any arrangements on this. I just want to see something real quick. Yeah, there you go. 32,215 by putting it there. Um, you'll notice that this impact igniter doesn't have any effect whatsoever on where you put it. It's not even glowing or getting its outline. So you can put it anywhere. Um, let's see what happens if we put this. 215... Yeah, it doesn't seem to make a difference where I put that. It has to be, like, right next to this. And this one gets more damage output if I put it on the uh, on the cross here. So that's good. That's good. So 32,215, uh, right around equivalent to the uh, bolt caster, I should say. So, again, as far as 
reload times, it's actually rather quick. Now that was, you know, they didn't, it, it only used a little bit of it. So let's just take a look and see how this thing fires. It's just a constant weapon fire. You know, you see it gets scattered towards the end. So how do you get around that? Notice the reload time is pretty good. Not as quick as the bolt caster, but pretty good. How do you get around that? Short burst, folks. So as long as you give it a little bit of a delay, you know you won't go, you won't go anywhere else but where you're shooting it. Now with the combat scope in place, you shouldn't have as much pullback. You notice it's automatically pulling my my firing up. I can try to hold it down a little bit, but it's going to be pulling it back up again. So if you concentrate on it, you can get a nice straight fire rate out of that, and it really goes quick. Man, I'm going through some ammo fast here. <laughs> so anyway, so that that is that is the pulse spitter at 32,215 with this arrangement. Okay, so let's move these uh, move these guys aside real quick, and we're gonna pull in the. Hold on a second here. We're gonna pull in the neutron cannon, not the geology cannon, the neutron cannon. Neutron cannon will not harm you if it gets too close to you. So we're at 27,497. Not terribly impressive, okay? Really not terribly impressive. Let me move the pulse spitter over to the side and see if we can free up the slots next to it so we can move that stuff around just a little bit. See, really not making much of a difference where I put it. So as long as it's adjoining here or here, you've got the full potential out of it. So it doesn't seem like it's a great uh, and powerful weapon here, okay? So, but keep in mind that the thing about the geol uh, pardon me, the neutron cannon is that, first of all, it uses carbon. You never have to reload. I mean, at 500, you think about that. You have 492 left on this weapon. Whoops, sorry, buddy. Go ahead and run away. It's also a close-range weapon, but it does um, area of effect damage as well. So when you're attacking multiple sentinels and they're they're clustered together in formation, there's a good chance you're going to take out four or five in one shot. So just that one shot going like this, you're going to take four or five of them out. So shall we give this a test? I think we should. Let's go ahead and take a ride. I've got just the place to go. You're probably already knowing where that's going to be. Let's get out here. You see all kinds of icons. I've been doing a lot of uh, searching around, if you will. Looking for different places, and, so to speak. Um, hmm, there's a portal on that planet. How interesting. I never knew that. Uh, I've got to find my planet. There is my... I've, this is my, in case you're wondering, this is my system that I'm in here. Uh, known as the Lemley system, I think it is. Uh, Z Zahansis. Sahansi's system, on on Lemley. Lemley's the planet where my main base is located at. This is one of these rare systems in the, uh, I almost said the Eucalyptus Galaxy. I literally almost said that. Um, but in this particular system, Isentum, <laughs> Isentum's galaxy, you'll see that this is a paradise planet with the usual assortment of stuff that's there. But you also have a paradise planet and a paradise planet. There are three paradise planets in the system. This planet is a swamp planet, and the final planet is Isbro is a tectonic planet, so it's a volcanic planet. That's the one we're headed to, Isbu. Um, I believe this is Isbo here, if I'm not mistaken. It's not telling me the name of the planet. Let's just head out there anyway. I want to head for that save beacon. Yeah, that's the place I want to go to. So this planet I happen to have that uh, save beacon set up at. And then, yeah, there's a portal there too. We're not actually heading for that. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus on the save beacon. No, it's not going to. It? No. It's going to give me uh, garbage on that one. Let me just see what happens. Yeah, I can't even get it lined up now. There we go. Now we're locked in. I should have... Yeah, see, it's a lovely planet. Kind of hot here. If I'm not mistaken, yep, that is our... As you can see, a lovely little place I've set aside here. And it's funny, too, they have a, uh, at this particular Sentinel, I, uh, name escapes me. I am doing so great today, aren't I? That's okay. You know what I was about to say. But at this particular uh, Sentinel um, 
pillar. That's the word. There it is on the left-hand side. This particular central pillar, they also carry a royal multi-tool, which I had acquired at one time. It was, you know, it was nice. It's probably reset by now, so we can take a look at it real quick. Yeah, weapons technology. See, a red and gold uh, multi-tool. Uh, it's kind of nice. Upgraded, it was okay, but they didn't have the, uh, the charge slots. We're not all together, so it really didn't uh, do much for me. So, but anyway, we're not going to shut them down. We are going to shut them down the old-fashioned way. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. So we've got our geology cannon, as you might remember. Let's go all the way through. Neutron cannon. It is in the charge slots. We're ready. Watch. Let's uh, let's tick this guy off. Ready. I'm not too afraid of it. They took out the healer. I think they have upgraded a lot of the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The damage assessment and the things that you're doing. Gone. How about you? This is just a regular sentinel. Gone. One shot. Uh, we really need to get rid of these patrol nodes. Let's get rid of that. One shot. There should be a couple more of these guys around. I hear them behind me. Ah, there they are. Look at that. Took out... We almost took out two of them at one shot. But, oh, and we took out all of the uh, <laughs> ground stuff at the same time. So, reinforcements are going to arrive. Let's go ahead and just do this for a little bit more. We'll do this for one more round here. Because when they arrive, I want to get kind of close. There they are. Right... Now, I just took them both out at the same time. You. Gone. Gone. And gone. And you notice I'm not having to reload. This is really great to be able to one-shot stuff. You don't... I can just do that. There we go. Pick them up the old-fashioned way, right? Okay. So, reinforcements arriving. So... I'm going to do a little something here. So they're going to appear over the... Yeah, see, they're right down there. Let's go up here for just a second. And let's get into our multi-tool. So we're going to take this out real quick. No reason to have it. We're going to move over to, let's say, the Pulse Spitter. That would be the next choice of weapon. Put that down there, that over there, and that there. 30,810 is where we are with this. I think that's where we want it to be, right? Yep, that's it. 32,000. There it is. Okay, and we'll move over to the full spinner. I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. Oh, hi there. Oh, you got to stop hitting the antenna. Instant reload. Just spray. This is like a... I think there was a, a, a weapon in another game. Uh, what was it? Uh, one of the Fallout games, I think. Um, spray and pray. That was it. As long as you got the aim right. Where is he? Gotcha. Uh, you? Gotcha. So, yeah, this is a pretty effective weapon. Go down here. Get everybody back to my level. Oh, okay, we got a dog. He's going to run into me in a second, but we took him out before we had a chance to. Uh, anything else? I heard something. There he is, little guy. All right. Reinforcements arriving soon. Okay. So, yeah, that's not bad. Should we move over to the scatter blaster? Should we go ahead and do that next, I think? Because I kind of want to leave the bolt caster to last. So let's go ahead and do the scatter blaster next. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and I don't mind. It's okay. They're going to be getting upset with me. That's all right. Move you out of the way, too. Uh, 47, 490. There we go. Uh, scatter blaster. Okay. Gone. Got to reload. Hello. See, took too long. Wow. Okay. And it's reloading already. I'm going to do quick shots with it at this point. Let's 
See, like I said, I'm not keen on it. I mean, he takes him out pretty quick. Don't get me wrong. Uh, must be another big guy out there lobbing craters at me. Okay, yep, there he goes. So yeah, again, I'm not a big fan of the scatter blaster as much anymore. Because I gotta get really close to this guy. Okay. So let's pull out the bolt caster. I want to get up here because we're gonna have to get the uh, big guy showing up. Our two-legged walker. Alright. Let's take this over here. Again, great Great weapon. It used to be even better back in the day. I really enjoyed it, but you know, honestly, it's not going to hold the same against one of these. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Where are we now? 32316. Leave it up there. Yeah, okay. That's good right up there. Alright. Switch over to Boltcaster. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. Gone. Before you could call in the support. Hi there. Stop hitting the antenna. Alright, shall we get down? Whee. Gone. Okay. Didn't take him out as quickly as I would like to, but... Uh, let's see, you. Okay, got him. Got him. Let's see, who else? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay. We want to get rid of the healers, because we don't want anybody interrupting us. Alright, there he is. Hi there. Gone. Gone. Already, re already reloaded. Should be doing damage to this at this point. There it is. Okay, that's what. Now we do have the... That's right, he's almost dead. Let me keep him up and gone. There we go. Oh wow, one of those situations where he stays up there. Alright, so that's uh, not, te not terrible. Not terrible. Um, I'm not sure which I liked better. It was kind of nice. Yeah, I have that there so everybody knows what kind of multi-tool it is if they ever come here. Um, I like the geology cannon. Pardon me, not geology. Uh, neutron cannon. I think I like probably the best. In just regular ordinary fights, I do like the bolt caster. I think with the, just the, uh, the pure reload time, which is so much faster, it's definitely worth having that in your arsenal and to be able to use that as far as you know one of the better weapons I think so getting back to the multi-tool real quick so again I like the bolt, bolt caster pretty decent damage um, I'm really not a big fan of the scatter blaster anymore I used to be a big proponent of it I used to always use that one but it's just not worth it to me um, Neutron Cannon is kind of one of my favorites, as well as the Pulse Spitter. But I think between these three, these are the three I'm going to go with on a regular basis. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, I'll just use a battery that time. So, and you know, not to mention, you can always, um, let me see, Paralysis Mortar. I should have been using those a little bit better, but uh, Combat Scope. Yeah. Oh, that's all it did. So you can keep steady a little bit more. Well, I would work better if I had the uh, pulse spitter and I used my combat scope a little bit more. So, something to think about. But you know what? As far as damage potential is concerned, you're going to wipe anything out. And you'll notice even when I was standing still, really wasn't getting a lot of damage at the time, folks. So don't be scared of those sentinels. Take them out when you can. Okay? So, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you got a little more... A little more uh, educated in regards to this particular weapon. Um, it is a very good weapon. See my other video, which I'll have highlighted at the end of this one. Um, there we go. Just want to get that switched around so we can see me. Hi there. There we go. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, as far as things are concerned, it's been a great weapon, and I'm really enjoying that multi-tool very, very much. Uh, it does need the right upgrades, so keep an eye on those X-Class upgrades I was talking about um, are the top-of-the-line X-Class upgrades. They're better than the S-Class upgrades in, mo in all respects. So keep in mind that that's what you want to try to look for in regards to the damage potential of these things. Um, I always recommend keeping a paralysis mortar handy as well for those times when you're just getting a little overwhelmed. You want to knock some out of commission for a little bit while you recharge or escape. And of course the Voltaic Amplifier which is as it calls it a generalized upgrade. And it adds plus 21% of damage potential to those that you have stunned with the paralysis mortar. So you can do some more damage to them while they're stunned. Um, so that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, great weapon. I'm going to probably rename it. I'm not going to keep it the Harbinger of Hochasho the 18th uh, much longer. I'm going to go ahead and rename it. And uh, I'll be going through the rest of my multi-tools and deciding what I want to keep and what I don't. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that like button. Please subscribe uh, if you haven't already. No Man's Sky, I'm telling you, is going to be making a big big comeback here soon so i hope you guys enjoy this and i hope in the future we can uh, go ahead and leave some comments and stuff like that and i'm glad to go ahead and respond to those comments to any questions you might have uh, appreciate everything you guys do thank you very much and thanks for watching take care everybody